Bring them now. Back to the tea. This whole country is under shutdown. How many people there inside this See those people there. go back to your books. Inspector General of Police, your office is being abused, is being misused. And I'm so sure the Commissioner of Police is not aware of See them. And to make matters worse, from beggar, I saw a helix carrying over 20 people. And I asked, I had to stop and ask the officials, why would you allow this vehicle to pass? And somebody said to me, oh, Madam, ah, yes ma, now uh, police drive the motor. Police drove the car. So police people suddenly turned transporters this is not a coincidence this is definitely what is happening because there are three of them three different people from beggar to 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 Mowe. three different people from beggar to Mowe. three Mopa, fully armed fully dressed police officers who will hold us who will stop us that is why you allow the police colleague like you to do illegal job moving passengers so why are you keeping us at home? why are we at home when the when whatever is being spread is being spread easily Solution now. If you don't want to impound this vehicle, okay. what is the solution now? Solution is that let me drop them out, out of this bridge. You did right not, the they are not moving and eat from here. If not, no. I gather out of you now. Wait, for, for dropping them here. Yes. Okay, let me put them out of this place. Let me drop them here. Let me put them out of this place. Let me I'm not agreeing with you. I'm not doubt. I'm not dispute what you are saying. I'm not disputing it. You, you, you are saying, please, 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 please. Stop what is the point of shutting? What is the point of shutting this whole country down? Madam, 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 I stop. I stop. I stop. You, you flash. I stop. Because I don't know why. I stop. That's why. But assistance with how many? No, I think you are flashing on the on. You are flashing me to stop. That's why I stop. If you ask me to put them out, of the place, I'll the only solution you have to this problem is some of them should disembark. I don't mind giving everybody transport to find their way. But this vehicle will not do the business. You agree or you don't agree? Whatever you decide, you have the right to do it. Carry your original passengers. If they are not a passenger, just leave them. Don't leave them. Go on your own now and give this people up. Now I arrest everybody. Simple. Madam, when you are doing something, 
Do not explain anything to me. That is the simple thing now. It is either you are ready to go with not less than how many people, or all of you now. Okay, how many people? Because my business is paid. Just let you. Because my business is paid. Don't tell me to take anything easy. Don't tell me to take anything easy. Madam, it's okay. Oh yeah, everybody be surprised. Your original vet owner, find your way. No movement is no movement. You stay at home. Not more than two people at the back. Not more than two. Two. Three people is not allowed. This guy is not even this place. Two three, three people. Three people. This guy is not even was there. The Mopo was there, pew, pew, standing in front. Everybody enter. Nobody to question them. Some of us are not fools. Some of us can be subdued by your, by your uniforms. What we carry is greater than your uniform. I have my voice. I have my strength. I have my loyalty to the government. I crossed the vehicle. Where is this van going to? Where are you taking these two buses? They are loading passengers to Ekiti, Ibadan, and all of that. You, police, are you on special duty? Started begging, madam, sorry. Yeah, I did see you for road now. I never had stopped you before. I, I, I know you now. I know you are doing your job. You are a madam that we see on the road. We know you very well. Blah, 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 blah. You know me from where? You know me from where? Started begging. So suddenly, our officers that are supposed to be peacekeeping, that are supposed to be law enforcement agents, are the ones destroying us. So this whole country is shut down just for some mediocres to exploit the, 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 the situation at hand and to make things worse with God to Shagam. So crowd going, chasing, and one person wearing gloves and nose mark in the midst of hundreds of people and she calls herself a commissioner of women affairs, sharing rights. So why are we at home when somebody is there sharing rights and spreading the virus? Because there's no point. Why are we sitting at home? And the worst is, even the people in these remote areas have no idea of what is going on. Their mentality is, they told us to stay at home. There is no awareness, no advocacy. For crying out loud, you people are spending money, taking pictures, showing us what is going on inside isolation center, doing live video, doing this to us on social media. What is the percentage of those of us that are on social media? How are you communicating with people at home? People who don't have opportunity to, to, to press iPhone, uh, Android phones. People who are in remote areas. They have, they, all they have is their local TVs and radios. What are you doing? Area boys everywhere. And you say you are working and you are keeping with the innocent ones at home. And you can't sensitize the ones that are even most vulnerable. Please stop keeping us at home and if you must keep us at home, go and do the go and do your due diligence. This is not fair. This government is not functioning. Nothing is happening. Don't take advantage of sharing food and counting numbers and increasing numbers and you want to keep us at home. This is injustice. If people cannot do the right things, it's so painful. It's so painful. 
Please, you people should go back there. Call your people to order. I'm going to post the videos on my social media pages so everybody can see. So this is not an issue of I'm exaggerating. Why? Why must we have to come attack ourselves? Why must we have to come to harass ourselves? Why must we come to insult ourselves? Sometimes you wonder how these people got to a post. How can, how can a whole commissioner of women affairs in Ogun State be sharing rights? When you were doing election, people knew where to go and vote. There was pulling units everywhere. Generate these ideas from your brains. Suddenly, because you want to share food, there's no database. There's no street number. There's no sensor. There's no this, there's no that. You give excuses. It is not rice you owe us. Rice is just, if you want to do it, you do it. If you're not doing it, you can keep your money. How many, even a brother, they are sharing. They are sharing with all due respect. You're sharing food here as if you're being begged. You're sharing food here. You didn't involve NGOs. Involve NGOs to help you. Where partners are supposed to be working. No partnership. Government just wants to prove themselves as if they have the capacity to do it. You don't. It's been politicized. Your officers are not well oriented. So there's no point keeping us at home. So please, Commissioner of Police, Governors, please look into this. I people should do the necessary things. If you must keep us at home, tell your police officers on the road, your road safety officials, all your officials on the road, tell them the necessary things to do. Some of them are even putting the head inside somebody's vehicle as if no. Some of them taking bribes, taking money, they, ex they explain, they collect money and they allow people to go. This is injustice. We no longer live in a country where injustice should rule us. Please, let's do the needful.